Hey guys, I am back with another video and today I'm going to do a get ready with me, but I'm going to use affordable drugstore products. A lot of them are in the drugstore. A few of them are affordable, but you can get them in other places. I was at the drugstore the other day and I saw a few things that are new to me <laughs> that I wanted to try. Um, so yeah, with that being said, let's get into the video. All right, so first up, I'm going to do a little bit of skincare. I've already cleansed my face, but for moisturizer, I'm going to use the Omega Water Cream by the Inky List. And it comes in a little tube like this. And this is the consistency of it. So it's not very runny. At the same time, it's not very thick either. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that on my skin. And just right off the bat, I can tell you that this has a water base and you can really tell it. Some moisturizers, when you apply them, you can tell it has more of a cream, some oil, but this one is very watery when you apply it, um, which is interesting because it wasn't really runny. So, yeah. So that's what it feels like upon application, but now that I have it all rubbed in, it does give like a really hydrated, moisturized look. So there you have it. All right, so for my brows, I'm gonna use the Nika K Eyebrow Pencil. And this pencil has a spoolie on one end and the pencil on the other. But before I go ahead and fill my eyebrows in, I'm gonna put just a little bit of powder on them. And I like to do that because sometimes it helps the pencil to apply better or it just um, helps with the precision of the application. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of the powder that I'm gonna use right there. Okay, I'm gonna take the spoolie and just kinda brush them upward. Okay, and I'm gonna lightly fill them in. And towards the tail, I tend to be a little bit more heavy handed. Just a little bit, not much, but. And now I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, and that is it as far as the brows go. So as you can see, it's just something light, not really heavy. And to carve out my brows, I'm gonna use the Moira Mega Concealer. This is it. And I'm just going to do that to make them look a little bit more sharp at the top. And that's something, some people do it, some people don't do it. You know, it's strictly up to you. And there's so many different ways that you can kind of clean up your brows, but I just like to go ahead and fill them in with the concealer. So let me find my brush and I just coat my brush and I like to use a small flat paddle brush. You can use whatever feels comfortable to you. I've even seen some uh, people use the uh, brushes that are like circular or dome shaped and they felt as though that was easier to use. So whatever type of brush feels comfortable to you, definitely go ahead and use that. So that's all I'm gonna do on that end. Let me go ahead and clean up this brow. Okay, and that is it. So I'm gonna take another brush and just kind of blend that out a little bit. Or not a little bit, a lot of bit. <laughs> okay, because I picked up a, what is this? This is a eyeshadow base. Let me put my readers on. Yeah, I picked up a color based primer by Beauty Creations. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out and then I'm going to apply the base just to see how it works out. I hope it does. Typically, I just use a concealer as my base, which a lot of you all already know if you followed me for a while. Then just to kind of cut out on the sharpness at the front of the eyebrow, I'll just kind of tap it a little bit right there just to kind of 
soften it up a little bit. Okay, so like I said, I have the Beauty Creations Color Base Primer, and the color that I have is Ballerina Girl. This is what it looks like. It comes in just a little inexpensive packaging. And then here's the tube. So I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. And they had several different colors off the top of my head. I can't remember what colors, but I elected to get this shade. So I'm just going to get a, another brush. And I'm going to apply this on my lid. And I'm really hoping that it plays well with the concealer that I use to kind of carve out my brows. Don't know, but I'm gonna find out. It's always good when you have products that play well together, because some products just do not act well with other products. So anyway, I'm gonna blend this out. All right, and I'm gonna get another brush to just blend that out more to see how well it blends with the concealer. And so far, it looks pretty good, so far. All right, so I'm not sure if you all can see that, but from the placement of the concealer to the base, it seems like a very kind of well blended transition. So now we can kind of move on to the eyeshadow. So I saw a palette in the drugstore by the name of Unravel. Here are the shades. So I think I'm gonna go with a, or try to go with a more simplistic look. First I'm going to kind of do my brow bone highlight and I'm gonna use lighter shade up here and it doesn't appear to be a lot of fallout either. Okay, now that I have that applied, I'm gonna go ahead with a crease shade and I'm using a red lipstick for this look, so I'm trying to figure out what. So I'm gonna go in with this row right here. I'm gonna put the deeper shade in my crease and see what happens with that. Oh, so on that row, this is the deeper shade. So far, so good. And I'm just using the softest brush that I have. As you all know, all brushes are not created equal. <laughs> Some just are not good for blending. And I think the key with any um, tool that you have, particularly eyeshadow brushes, try and get the softest brush that you have. Okay, so this looks good. Actually, it looks really good. And I'm gonna try to bring this up as high as I can. Cause I'm gonna see if I can get away with just using two shades. Well, actually three. My brow bone highlight, my crease, and a lid color. So for my lid, I think I'm gonna move down a row and use this shade right here. And I'm just using another flat paddle brush. All right, and now that I have that applied, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this shade right here in my outer V, and that's just to deepen up the look a little bit and add a little bit of dimension. So I'm just gonna apply it like so. And now I'm gonna go back in with this shade right here. So 
I'm going to go back in with a deeper shade and just kind of add a little bit on my lower lash line. I typically elect to leave that blank and just put mascara because sometimes when I add shadows on my lower lash line, it can be a little bit much. But I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit just right there, just like that. And then I'm going to bring it up on the upper lash line, just right in the corner. So that's pretty much for the eyeshadow. I'm going to go ahead and do this side and I'll be right back. Alright, so I got the eyeshadow look all completed. Next up is the liquid eyeliner. And this is the Precision Liquid Eyeliner by Neutrogena. And the reason that I wanted to try this is because it's made with honey and coconut. And that's supposed to be designed to resist smudging water resistant and hyperallergenic. Seems like I saw somewhere else that it had vitamin E in it, I'm not sure. But anyway, it comes in a box like this. So probably the simplest way to use a liquid eyeliner is just kind of make small strokes instead of one, you know, big long stroke all at once. Or at least that's the way I do it. I think that that's pretty easy. So I'm just applying it as close to the, the lash line as possible. If you find that it's kind of hard for you to see, just get the little mirrors that have the magnifying mirror on the other side. That's what I use to help me see. So that's it, I got the eyeliner all complete. And now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my mascara. And I saw this Wet n Wild Big Papa <laughs> Mascara, this is it. And let's see what this claims to do. This says get bigger volume, bigger lift, bigger thickness, bigger impact, bigger, 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 okay. So um, I think you all already know what I feel about mascaras, but I was like, hey, let's just try this and see what happens. So let me go ahead and... So it says bigger, 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 let's try. And y'all know, or you all can see that my lashes are pretty much non-existent. And no matter what mascara I try, they still remain non-existent. But let's just see. anything significant we are going to keep it moving okay <laughs> so just because it didn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for you I just have really tiny eyelashes and it's only so much that uh, mascara is going to do for me I'm going to use the echo lashes by Ardell but I'm going to wait to apply those to after I have the rest of my face completed so for foundation, I'm gonna use the ELF Halo Glow Liquid Filter Glow Booster for Radiant Skin, okay? Comes in a bottle like this, and let's see what she's talking about. Yeah, they don't be playing when they secure these items. They, ooh, it's so hard to get into. Which I can understand, because sometimes people go through the makeup in the stores and just contaminated. So, looks like it's got a dope foot. So I'm gonna start by applying some here. I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna work in this section first, okay? And I'm gonna use a brush. just isn't coming out for me but, or it could be that I'm just using too much but anyway let's see this is reminding me of the lip bar that they have um, 
the color, the finish, everything about it. If you have if you have dry skin, I think this might be a good uh, foundation for you. All right, so I feel as though the coverage is, <laughs> uh, I would say light to medium. Because uh, I've tried, I've applied, as you can see, more than one layer. And I don't know that it's covering up my hyperpigmentation all that well. Because it's like the more that I apply, I almost feel like the greasier I look. <laughs> I feel as though there's a difference between, well, there is a difference between greasy, radiant, or hydrated. So, but I'm gonna keep pushing forward. So, I'm gonna do my highlight. You all know, you all know that I like to do that. And I'm gonna go back in with the uh, Mega Concealer that I use to cover up my brows. And I'm gonna start off with that there. And I'm just gonna go in with a brush kind of blend that out a little bit. So one thing that I can say about this foundation is that um, it's doing really well with blending out with the concealer that I used so I don't see it lifting or anything and I'm just going back in with the foundation brush to go over the edges so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and I'll be right back all right so I've got all of the highlighting done that I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and set the highlighting part with the rough on photo ready anti-pollution candid uh, loose setting uh, loose setting powder this is it I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye and under my nose my chin and my forehead I'm going to just kind of add a cream bronzer and for the cream bronzer I'm going to use my black radiance color perfect foundation stick uh, it looks like this and I'm just gonna add a little bit up here you know, right there and right here okay and I'm gonna go in this time with a stippling brush and or you may also know it as a dual fiber brush as opposed to the foundation brush that I use because I don't want any of the foundation kind of mixing in with the product that I just applied. And this particular foundation, when it's when it dries or after you apply it, it has like a satin or a soft matte finish and it's really not necessary to set it unless you have oily skin okay so i have more mature skin so i don't think it's necessary to set it there you go the way it's looking and it's like now as I'm just kind of finishing everything off and it's coming together mm, yeah I think I am gonna add a little bit of powder right there just in certain spots but not all over and I'm going to use a black radiance loose powder and I'm just going to lightly set Now for the blush and highlight, I'm gonna go back to this palette, the highlight, 
I'm gonna use this shade right here and I'm gonna go ahead and try this blush. And everywhere that I'm highlighting, you definitely don't have to highlight in the same places. If you want a little or a lot or however, however you choose, definitely do that. So now I'm going to add a little bit of blush. You'll find that sometimes I add blush, sometimes I don't. I'm going to add a little bit on my nose. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add the glue for my lashes uh, before I go in with the lipstick and the setting spray. So what I like to do is I like to add the glue on the eyelashes as well as the eyelid. And to me, if you add it to both, it just kind of allows for a quicker, <laughs> more precise, uh, application. The key to applying eyelashes is letting the glue get sticky. If the glue is not sticky, when you go in to place it, it's going to slip and slide everywhere that you place your eyelash. Also, another thing that you need is a magnifying mirror so you can actually see where you're placing your lash. So I've got the glue on my lashes and I'm going to just apply a little bit on my lash line. And don't put a lot, just put a little. So now you need to let everything get a little sticky. Allow the glue on your lid to get a little sticky as well as your eyelashes to get a little sticky. So I'm gonna set that over there. And now it's time for lips. And this particular lipstick is not new, but this color is new. And this is the NYX Shine Loud Lipstick. Okay. And it's got the color on one end and it's got a gloss on the other. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry and for you ladies that are out there that's looking for a lipstick that will not budge let me repeat that that will not budge this will not of course you that's without the gloss but if you use it without the gloss once it's on you, you're gonna have to really scrub to get it off so I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit and now I'm going to go ahead and pick up these lashes and see if they are ready for application. And I think they might be. So I'm gonna bring my little mirror all close to me. And these lashes are so pretty. All right, so now I have the eyelashes all on, and now I'm going to use this lip gloss and just apply it all over the lips. And that is it. Final step, we gotta have some setting spray, right? Luminous Setting Spray by Morphe. And because the foundation that I used was very radiant, very hydrating. I feel as though I don't need a lot of this. And I think guys, this is it. So that's it. That concludes the video. Let me know down in the comments if you've tried any of these products. If you tried them and you liked them, let me know. If you tried them and you didn't like them, let me know. So yeah, that's it. Thanks so much for tuning in. And until my next video, smooches. Bye.